Hello, this video we're looking at ranking cycle. Ranking cycle is uh, basically a vapor power cycle. And it's used in um, power plant, steam power plant. So uh, since it's in power plant, I want to quickly recap what we learned about the heat engine cycle. So we have these four components. We have this pump, right? Okay, so that's a pump. And then after the pump, we'll go through the boiler. And uh, then we'll go through the turbine. Then the turbine will generate to work out. Then we will go back to condense it from vapor to liquid. So it's condenser. And then going back to the pump. So that's the whole process. And now let's add some details to it. So with this pump, we normally need add some kind of work in, right? Previously in our heat engine, we have um, neglect this work because compare this work to work out this is very negligible okay now when we go to the boiler we have to add heat to it so there's a heat come in and it then goes through the turbine we generate work and it then goes through the condenser vapor turns to the liquid so there'll be heat coming out that's our heat engine cycle so today I'm gonna add some um, some points onto this chart. So I'm gonna start at somewhere here. This is gonna point A and B and C and D and E. You might be really surprised why there's E and A. They seem to be redundant, they are the same point. Yeah, it looks like first time, but I will uh, explain that momentarily why we needed to add another point over there so I'm gonna add a turbine okay so knowing that we first have to talking about what is actually ranking cycle we talk about ranking cycle is described as the uh, steam power plant consisted of four basic device pump boiler turbine and condenser and ranking cycle is actually ideal cycle so I'm gonna make a note ranking cycle is ideal if it's ideal cycle and then you know uh, those components each of the four components they will run as like no friction uh, etc so think about it if this is no friction remember uh, for this open device we're talking about for example for turbine if it's adiabatic if it's no heat transfer which is ideal right inevitably there's always going to heat leaking out but ideal situation there's no heat transfer and we will also say uh, ideal will be internally reversible so thinking about those two this two that tells us uh, that equals basically isentropic right s is a constant s is equal to constant is we call isentropic process isentropic process is ideal you know uh, that that's the ideal situation so we're going to base on this assumption here for discussion of the ranking cycle. Now let's go ahead to translate this into our TS diagram. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to draw our TS diagram right here. Temperature and entropy. And in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and draw our dome shape. And we know this is going to be, this side will be compressed liquid. And inside the dome, that will be a mixture, saturated liquid vapor mixture. And this side will be superheated vapor, right? So having that knowledge in mind, we're going to draw our constant uh, pressure line. So we'll have... constant pressure line so I can make a note this P is a constant now let's thinking about how we're going to translate this entire thing to this TS diagram we'll start at A okay if I assume at point A here 
that's when this liquid coming to the boiler getting heated up and I assume A is going to be the saturated liquid okay so if that's a situation I'm gonna label my A right here so A is you can make a note that's gonna be saturated liquid Okay, then they are going to go through this process to, to point B, all right, ignore the barking. Um, my big chihuahua doesn't like the little chihuahua. Anyway, so um, saturated liquid coming, there's a heat coming. So they're gonna go through to the process B. And B is going to be, uh, we assume that's gonna be saturated vapor all right so that's going to be b then we're going to go through the turbine we know when we go through the turbine what happened this is going to be the pressure drop right pressure going to drop so if that's the situation we're going to draw another pressure line so we're going to go ahead and draw this so this is p1 or this is a high pressure and this is going to be P2. This is going to be our low pressure. After it goes through the turbine, it's going to be expanded. So the pressure drops. So this P2 is a constant. So from B to C, it's going to drop the pressure. So from this top line to the bottom line. But how? Remember, this is an ideal cycle. And it's isentropic process for open device. So for this turbine, if it's isentropic process, our x-axis is s so yeah, in other words the entropy stay the same so that's going to be a just a vertical line okay then that's going to give us from b2c from low high pressure drop down to this lower pressure and with this process called the isentropic process from b2c and then let's go look from c to d from c to d it's going to be at constant pressure, at this no pressure, right? From this no pressure, from C to D, and we we'll assume D here is going to be gets back to our saturated liquid. It's going to get back to this saturated liquid. All right, so from C to D, gonna get to the saturated liquid, D. Then, then we're gonna go through this pump. Then D to E, just a second. Hey, uh, okay, so from C to D, uh, it's going to be condensing. So it's the constant pressure at this low pressure it's from C to D. And we assume D is a saturated liquid. And then from D to E, it's a pump. And the pump is open device, just like turbine. And it's ideal cycle, which means it's isentropic process. So we're going to go straight it up, okay? And to pump, the, it's gonna increase the pressure, right? So it's gonna be from low pressure to our high pressure and it's touching this point that's the reason we have two points right here a and e why they're different e is what e is compressed liquid because it's at a compressed liquid region and then a is the saturated liquid so in order to go from e to a you're going to add a heat to it right you're going to for example you boil water from you just get water from sink and you want to boil it to become saturated liquid so that's from e to a you need to add a heat to it so this heat you added through the boiler there are two processes to it if you're going to break it down one is going from b to a uh, from e to a from sat uh, from compressed liquid to saturated liquid Liquid. and then you're going to add more heat to it so more heat to it and trying to go from saturated liquid to saturated vapor so that's where the heat coming is actually in both of those two places so I'm actually going to label that's Q in here and there's also some Q in here okay then if we're going to add more label to it and we know the turbine from B2C here there's a work coming out 
right? And from the pump, we have work come in. Uh, then from C to D, there's a heat leaking out. So this is our process. We translate that to TS relationship, TS char. Okay, so knowing that, we're going to continue to explore to each component. For example, we're going to be looking at our um, pump first. So first, we're going to look at the pump. Pump, we know it's from D to E, right? And the pump, we know uh, from open device, we know the work required. This is going to be what we have covered before. If you need a quick review, you can go back to open system pump video. So pump required work is going to be equals um, mass flow rate H final, H2 minus H1. So what's our H2? It's going to be E, point E. And so be at E and H1 will be initial, which will be our HD. So that's a pump equation. And here I'm actually going to introduce another one for pump. The pump also have another equation. It's going to be P, uh, V. We're going to use V uh, PE minus PD the increase of the pressure times volume and here the volume we're going to use uh, we're going to use the saturated liquid this point d um, in, um, to for for volume okay so that's another expression for pump now let's looking at our second component i think we are moving up to boiler right so through the boiler for boiler, we need to add heat to go from A to B, from saturated liquid to saturated uh, vapor. So how much heat is added, the heat transfer coming, is going to be equal to mass flow rate coming, and our final, which is our B point, HB minus HA. Um, actually, um, boiler is not from A to B. Boiler looks like A to B, but it's actually from E to, to B, right? So that's the reason we add an extra point here. So it's from E to B. So I might want to do this E to A, then to B. From compressed liquid to saturated liquid to saturated vapor. So in that situation, your final enthalpy is B, your initial is this compressed liquid, HB minus HE. That's our boiler equation. Okay. Now let's move to the third component, which is our turbine. Our turbine is going from B to C. And uh, Knowing uh, turbine, it's going to generate work. There's a work out, and that work out is going to be mass flow rate of initial minus final, HB minus HC, okay? Um, then the last component we have is our condenser. Condense is going from vapor to liquid, and for this condenser, uh, that's going from C to D. Our C here, it looks like it's in the saturated vapor, liquid vapor mix, and the D is going to be our saturated liquid. So from C to D, there's a heat leaking out. How much heat leaking out? That's going to be mass flow rate of HC minus HD. Initial minus final, right? Initial has a higher enthalpy, okay? So knowing that you have full formula for each component, okay? Then how would that help us solve anything? If you work for, as an engineer at a power plant, uh, making electricity is not hard. We have done this for many years. However, to make it efficient, it's something you want to strive for. So the 
main topic here I want to look into is the efficiency. It's called a ranking cycle efficiency. So ranking cycle efficiency, if we're going to call eta, and if I'm going to use R, call my, uh, let me write it down, ranking cycle efficiency, then we know ranking cycle efficiency, any efficiency is something you desired over what required, right? And what will be desired here? So look at this, uh, this uh, power plant heat engine cycle. What do you want? We want to generate most work out, right? Because this shaft work is going to fall down, stay inside the magnetic coil to generate electricity. So that's going to be what we want. We want more we want more uh, work out. So previously, we have using uh, for our heat engine cycle efficiency. Go ahead and look at that uh, video. Uh, we're only looking at the turbine workout. We ignore the required pump work because it's so insignificant. But now if we do want to consider it, so then we will have this work out minus this work in. That's going to be our desired. We want this value to be huge, right? We want to desire more of that. And what will be required? Required is you have to add heat to the boiler. So that's going to be our QA. So knowing that, we're going to substitute our values in here. Remember, the workout is here. It's mass flow rate, HB minus HC. And the required work is the pump, which if we use this one, that would be mass flow rate, HE minus HD. And our required heat to the, from the boiler is mass, is that one, mass flow rate, HB minus HE. Again, you realize we can simplify this, get rid of mass flow rate. What we'll have will be something like this, HB minus HC minus HE minus HD, HB minus HE, right? Okay, so, if, uh, so that would be ranking cycle efficiency. That's one. And if you want to go ahead uh, simplify this, which we can, so it can be or, um, what we could do, there are different ways to do it. I'm going to just show you this way. HB minus HC, we're going to just flip the location, HB and HE here. Then we have HC minus HD here. That's essentially the same. Then you can cancel out. You will have one minus HC minus HD. HB minus HE. So that's another expression for ranking cycle, right? Okay. Um, so those are the different ways to uh, to solve it, and uh, that will be. Uh, this will be the uh, end of the ranking cycle concept. And a quick recap, we start with this uh, power plant cycle and we assume it's ideal, so it's isentropic for uh, open device such as pump and turbine and we interpret this into the TS diagram. And be aware, over here we assume, um, for example, a B is gonna be saturated vapor. Right, but you know, in reality, it's not in power plant. It's not going to stop at saturated vapor. They're going to stop at superheated vapor. Correct. So, actually, in the next video, we're going to make adjustment for this ranking cycle. Um, so that's just a little heads up. Now we actually um, go ahead and figure out each four of the components. So, how do we solve them? For heat transferring and workout, work required, heat out, and then we introduce this ranking cycle efficiency. Um, then we want the network out to be desired and required is our heat coming. 
And、uh, then we got our a couple of expressions for our ranking cycle. So that will be it, and I will see you at the next video to looking at、uh, adjustment or modification of ranking cycle. All right, see you then. Bye.